So let me be honest, I used to think that being a lone wolf was the right move to make, but I was completely wrong. Now, it's important to have friends, it's important to have your group, but more importantly, you need to have a great group, right? Everyone in your group needs to have your best interest, and, it, and this needs to be known, because if it's not, your life will be on a decline, and you won't even realize what's going on. What's good, YouTube Jam, back again with another video. This is why your friends are silently destroying your life. Show me your circle, and I'll show you your future. I used to think that the type of people that you hang out with really didn't matter. You know, people used to say birds of a feather flock together. I always disregarded this because I was like, you know, I'm not like any of my friends, but that's not true. Like if you look at yourself and your group objectively, you'll come to find out that y'all kind of think very similar. When you come together, y'all pretty much do the same thing, talk about the same things. Now this could be very powerful, but it could be negative at the same time. I'm going to bet for a lot of you guys, it's a negative thing. I bet a lot of you guys don't have the best type of friends. Maybe you're talking about things that don't really matter, things that, that are not gonna progress your life. Like the type of friends that I have, we're constantly talking about improvement. That's pretty much all we talk about. We're talking about drinking enough water. We're talking about micros, macros. We're talking about going outside, getting enough steps. Like we're just focused on improving. We don't drink, none of us. And is this a coincidence? All my friends have my best interests and I have their best interests as well. I know what it's like to not have the best type of friends. This is something that I've experienced and I know how this affected my life in the worst possible way and I didn't even realize, right? I had the type of friends that convinced me to break up with a girl I was dating at the time and then tried to talk to her right after we broke up. He convinced me to break up with her and then he tried to talk to her. All my group wanted to do was go out every weekend. When are you gonna throw the next party? Who's coming over? My group was filled with these type of people and it was a lot of people. It seemed like I had a lot of people that wanted to be around me. But the moment I was like, you know what? I wanna do something different. I want something different with my life. That's when everybody disappeared, right? This is when I stopped hanging out with certain people because I couldn't stand to be around this type of energy anymore. And this is what I mean. Like these are the type of people that are silently destroying your life. It's hard to realize once you're in it, but once you take a step back and look at yourself objectively, it's crystal clear that these weren't the type of people that needed to be in your life. Your friends are silently destroying your life and you don't realize because you're all doing the same thing. You all are a part of this destructive behavior. And maybe it's you, maybe you're the guy who's holding the other guy back. And you don't notice because you guys all agree that this destructive behavior was okay. If you're lazy and all your friends are lazy, it's okay because everyone in the group is lazy. If no one in the group works out, it's okay not to work out because nobody works out. If you have a group of people that all do something beneficial for their life, like working out, you're not gonna be the only person in the group that's not working out. If everybody's talking about micros and macros and they come together and they're working out talking about, oh, this is this is my micro, this is my macros for this week, this is my macros for this year, there's no way that you won't be working out. Even if you never worked out a day in your life, I guarantee you're gonna start working out. I see it every single time, every single time. So I, I know how easy it is to be influenced. I know how easy it is to be influenced. It's called a circle of influence for a reason because you're all influencing each other and you all will influence each other. You all will have an influence on each other. Whether you think this is true or not, this is gonna happen. You can use this understanding to pick the right people in your life. The moment you start questioning the things that you're doing and you tell the group that, you know what? I don't wanna do this today. You're gonna be the weirdo. When you tell your friends that you're not drinking today, you're the weirdo. My best friend, doesn't drink, he never drank. And I remember when we would go out and he's like, yeah, I'm not drinking. Everyone thought he was the weirdo. Like imagine that. Imagine thinking that someone who's focused on health and being the best possible version of himself is the weirdo. Like think how insane this sounds. Like this sounds insane. I went from a friend group who thought if I didn't participate in this type of behavior, you're a weirdo. To a friend group that only promotes positive behavior. If I talked about, let's, let's go drink, I would be the weirdo. I'm not saying your friends need to be super intense, but you need to be very meticulous when it comes to bringing people into your life. And that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. The things I want for myself in the process are the same things of working I want for you on guys. your dreams, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine.